Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I will be doing a watch me work on this spiderweb spider nail set. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jess and I do a types of nail videos. So like I said here in this video, we will be doing a little watch me work tutorial. And as you can see, I am starting off with pushing back the client's cuticle. And then here I will be going in with a fine sanding band and my drill. And I'm just going ahead and taking off the shine on the natural nail. As you can see here, going around the cuticle, making sure that there's no oils or anything on the natural nail and you will also see that I do go ahead and take off like a little black piece on her nail that's left from her previous set because the day that she had her appointment she took off her nails so obviously you could see from where the growth was so that's also what I'm taking off you if you guys are wondering what that little black piece is but I'm just doing this on all the nails you don't know. And after I'm done doing that, as you could see, I will be going in with my nail clippers and just trimming down her natural nail, and I will be doing this to all her nails as well. And after that, I will be going in with my rose dust brush and I will be going in with my cuticle nippers and just cutting off any cuticle that she has. So like I did mention, she did have a previous set before this, so she didn't really need any trimming, but I did take off a little bit of the cuticle that she did have. And also, if you guys are interested in any other products that I use, make sure to check out the description so that we guys could go ahead and go shop and make sure to use my code so that we guys could go ahead and save some money as well if it's available. <laughs> After that, I'm dusting off anything that's left and I will be going in and applying my nail tips. So as you can see, I'm just going in making sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And I will be going in with these coffin tips since she did want a still little shape. It just made it way more easier. So I'm going in with these and applying that with my KDS glue and applying that to all the nails as well. and this is what they look like after they're done being applied and then here as you can see we will be cutting down the nail to her desired length so she did want to go up to number five so i'm just cutting it and making sure that they're all equal baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you and after I'm done cutting it down, as you can see, I will be going in with a fine sanding band. And what I will be doing is making sure that the nail tip and the natural nail are nicely blended. And I'm going to go around the cuticle again just to make sure that I get everything on the nail. So as you can see, I will be doing this to all the nails. And you will see here that on the pointer finger, the glue wasn't dry yet. So I did spray some like... um. I forget what it's called, but I will make sure to link it down below. It's just so the glue could dry. So as you can see, I'm spraying the whole nails and then I'm going back into blending in the natural nail to the nail tip. I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced. So no And after I'm done doing that, as you could see, I will be going in with some just straight edge nail clippers and I will be cutting down the sides on the nails on all of them. Uh -huh. 
And after I'm done cutting the sides, as you can see here, I'm just going in with my nail file and I'm going to be doing that the little shape and making it really sharp, as you can see. And I'm just going to be shaping all the nails to make that the little shape. And this is what the shape looks like after I'm done filing. And then here, as you could see, I will go ahead and dust that off. And then I will be going in with my bone and I will be applying this to all the nails. And then before I go in and apply my acrylic, I do go ahead and apply it again here, as you could see. So I will be going in with my clear and I will be making that my base since I will be going in with the black. You want to make sure that you protect the natural nail and do not stain it. So as you can see here, I'm just going in with my clear and making sure that I'm applying that to the natural nail so that way the black doesn't stain the natural nail. And after I'm done applying the clear, as you can see, I will be going in with my black and applying a really thin layer since I will go ahead and encapsulate it. So as you can see here, I'm just going in with my brush and making sure that the whole nail is covered. So I'm going to be going ahead and placing my bead and then pushing it down and then I'll be going in with another bead and then placing it right below the cuticle and then pushing it towards the cuticle so the way it could be filled. And I will be doing this to all the nails as well. <laughs> Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality, everything you do makes me love everything about you. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go on now Oh, 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 
acrylic looks like after it's done being applied so then here as you can see i will be going in with my clear and encapsulating that because whenever you go in and file you do not want to take off any of the colored acrylic so as you can see here i'm just going in with a thin layer and applying that to all the nails as well you don't know Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm what you do That's why I'm not my life with you I won't please you in way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? So then here we have my acrylic laid and then here as you can see I will be going in filing, buffing and shaping the nails as you can see like I did mention I will make sure to link down below everything so make sure to go check that out if you guys haven't and after I'm done filing and everything I do ask my clients to go wash your hands and then here as you can see we will be going in and creating that nail art design so as you can see here on the other hand I will be doing the exact same thing to this hand so here on the middle finger I am starting off with creating the actual spider so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is going in with my white, my brush, and just creating a line going down the middle. And then here, as you can see, I will be going in and starting to add my gems. So as you can see here, first, I'm going in and applying my glue. Here, I'm going in with the flame, and I'm putting the finger next to it, so that way I can make sure that they're nice and even. So I'm going in with the flame, and then after this, I will be going in and turning my hand and applying the glue again, so that way I could go in with an SS10, I believe I went in. If not, it is an SS6. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like. Back in with the white and making sure that it's nicely neat and curing it underneath the lamp. Yeah. 
And then here, as you can see, after I'm done curing, I am going to be going in with my liner brush again in the white to start creating the legs and the arms and whatnot. So as you can see here, I will be creating two lines to make sure that the leg is nicely placed. So I'm going in kind of slanted and then I'm doing another line straight. And I will be doing two lines going up and then two lines going down. And I will be doing the same thing to the other side. Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat, leave no one else, you're all I need, personality, everything you do, it's me love, everything about you, my smile. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced And this is what it looks like as you can see So after I'm done and happy with the result I will go ahead and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds And then here on the pinky, I am going to start off with creating a spider web So with the edge of the nail as you can see here i'm going in with my liner brush and the white and i'm going to be creating two lines to make kind of like a v and then we'll be doing a line going down the middle and then i will be going in with the little swoops i'm not sure how you call this but the little curves or whatever to the spider web and i'm just going to be filling in the lines and then you will see here in a bit that i do make it a little bit longer and after i'm done doing that i will go ahead and carry it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp you don't know. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now And then here on the ring finger, I will be doing the exact same thing. So here towards the cuticle, I will be going in and drawing a line going down in the middle and then two lines going to the side. So I will be creating a spider web right here towards the cuticle, as you could see. And then I'm going to be going ahead and filling in in between those lines another line so that way it could be kind of like a bigger spider web as you could see and i'm just making sure and pulling the brush down so that way it could create longer lines and then again i will be creating those little curves inside the spider web as you can see here and i will be doing this to all the lines in between you don't know. 
Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced. So go now. And after I'm done creating that first spider web, I will be doing the exact same thing except to the edge of the nail. So as you can see here, I'm just creating the line down the middle, creating the two lines on the sides to create that kind of V look. And then I will be going ahead and creating those curves and making sure that it fills in my spider web and then carrying that for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. Yeah. And then after that's done curing here on the pointer finger, I will be doing another spider web, except this one will be kind of diagonally. So as you can see here, I'm starting off on the corner and I'm going ahead and going and doing my line down the middle and then doing the lines on the side. And then I will be going ahead and filling in the little curves to create the spider web. And then I will go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. <laughs> Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me to love. Everything about you. And after this and curing here on the thumb, I will be doing the exact same thing that I did to the ring finger. So speaking of that, make sure to comment down below any video suggestions you guys want to see. Definitely comment down below if you guys want to see more Halloween nail tutorials or watch me works. I will love, love, love to record those for you guys. So make sure to comment down below so that way I can make sure and film that for you guys and have it up. And as you can see, I will be doing the exact same thing that I did to the ring finger.
after that's done curing, I will be going in with the alcohol lint for you wipe and just cleaning the nails. And then I will be going in with the matte top coat and I will be applying this to all the nails as well and curing that for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. After that's done curing, I will be going ahead and applying my cuticle oil. You want to be very careful since they are matte. But besides that, definitely comment down below if you guys want to see more Halloween slash fall tutorials, watching works. Also, do not forget to check out the description for any of my social media as well as any discount codes available. And this is the final result. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 11k. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and see you guys in the next one.